Today, we're diving deep into the mind-blowing mysteries of, of our universe. Imagine cruising through space in a supercharged spaceship, chasing the speed of light and having an eternity to explore the universe's edge. Sounds fascinating, right? Well, hold on, because we're about to tackle questions that will spark your curiosity. How long would it even take to reach the universe's edge? And in what world or beyond would you find there? I'm Mike Adams, and welcome to All Things Space. And today we're exploring the possibilities of an infinite universe. In 2023, the James Webb Space Observatory made a groundbreaking discovery reported in nature. They found six galaxies that formed just 600 million years after the Big Bang, challenging our understanding of cosmic evolution. These galaxies, unusually massive for their early formation, suggest the universe might be almost twice as old as previously thought, around 26.7 billion years, not 13.7 billion. Our telescopes, advanced as they are, reveal the universe's theoretical beginning rather than its endpoint. However, observing distant celestial bodies like Betelgeuse presents a challenge due to light travel time. What we see is an image frozen in time, sometimes hundreds of years old. This boundary has captivated humanity for ages, remaining an enigmatic frontier we aim to explore further. Space hosts fascinating phenomena that shape how we perceive distance and time. For instance, if the sun were to vanish suddenly, planets would continue their orbits for a while due to their existing momentum before drifting into the void. The Andromeda galaxy appears closer than reality because the light reaching us takes nearly 900 years, causing a lag in observation. Understanding distances in space holds immense importance. The closest star, 4.2 light years away, lies far beyond our current reach, even with cutting edge technology. A journey there would span tens of thousands of years. It's crucial to remember that when we gaze at the stars and galaxies, we're essentially peering into their past due to the time light takes to travel. Despite the universe's age, uh, believed to be 13.8 billion years, we observe spans of a distance of 46 billion light years. This expanded view beyond the universe's age fuels our curiosity about its true edge. However, practical constraints like fuel and collisions pose significant challenges. Additionally, Einstein's theory of relativity brings unexpected effects as a spaceship approaches the speed of light, making it an unattainable boundary. Approaching this limit triggers peculiar time-related phenomena, observable differently by internal and external observers as outlined in Einstein's special theory of relativity. As the ship hurtles towards this cosmic speed cap, time begins to warp. At around 90% of light speed, time dilation kicks in noticeably. But beyond that threshold, approaching light speed spins time into an extreme slowdown. Case in point, in 1991, the Oh My God particle zipped by at 99.999% light speed, flummoxing scientists with its velocity. This astronomical pace slammed the brakes on time for the particle, slowing it down 300 billion times for an onlooker compared to a stationary point. For us earthbound observers, a journey to the Andromeda galaxy would span millions of years, Yet for the particle, it'd be a matter of minutes. But here's the cosmic cliffhanger. Crossing an 8.3 billion light year threshold without turning back renders the return trip impossible. The expanding universe would outpace any spacecraft's speed, making the journey back to our solar system an unachievable feat. It's not the ship outstripping the light, it's the space it occupies stretching beyond light's limits. Think of it this way. Picture stretching a slinky. The coils inch apart leisurely, but the ends can zip away faster due to the stretch. Similarly, in certain cosmic stretches, space's expansion outruns any hopes of return, creating a cosmic point of no return. Galaxies adhere to this rule as well. Venture far enough and you'll eventually hit a boundary, fleeing faster than light. 
even turning back and firing all engines, wouldn't bridge that gap. Dark energy and the universe's relentless expansion unveil a reality far beyond our visible horizon, spanning not just 13.8 billion light years, but a staggering 46 billion light years in one direction, a boundary eternally stretching into the future. Our visible universe is vast and expanding, but not endless. Scientific calculations suggest our future visual reach will increase by about 33%, extending to roughly 61 billion light years. This marks the farthest we can see, but seeing doesn't equate to reaching. Dark energy, an incredibly powerful force, has effectively divided the universe into layers. Within a span of less than 15 billion light years, approximately 66 billion galaxies exist. The galaxies within this range could theoretically be reached if we could travel at the speed of light. Eventually, humans might observe these galaxies precisely as they are now. Between 15 and 46 billion light years away, there are around 2 trillion galaxies. Despite being visible, these galaxies will forever seem younger than 13.8 billion years to us. They're beyond our reach, even at the speed of light. Changes in these galaxies won't be observable to us over billions of years. Galaxies farther than 46 billion light years away are presently invisible. Future generations might see them as their light reaches us, but they'll remain inaccessible even to spacecraft moving at near light speed. Anything beyond 61 billion light years is entirely unseen and unreachable, providing no insights into their activities. As the universe expands due to dark energy, its reach extends, leaving galaxies and stars beyond our ability to explore or interact with them. Ultimately, this relentless expansion leads to a universe dominated by dark energy, disconnected and isolated from our own. Think of dark energy as gravity's counterpart. While gravity strengthens with more matter, dark energy intensifies with emptier spaces. This perpetual expansion creates vast empty spaces, propelling the universe into darkness. Even at near light speeds, reaching the universe's edge becomes an unattainable goal due to this continuous expansion. After 200 years on a spaceship traveling at near light speed, the universe would have aged immensely due to this expansion, rendering the ship possibly the only observable entity in a pitch dark universe. This concept underscores the challenges of reaching the farthest edges of a universe that is expanding at an unprecedented rate. Yet, understanding these principles is just the starting point for comprehending the complexities of our vast, evolving cosmos. Exploring the universe's boundary raises queries about its shape and potential infinity. An ancient philosophical argument, the javelin analogy, suggests the universe's infinite nature. Yet, there is a shift in understanding. The universe might be infinite, but possess edges. Consider this. If our universe is akin to a two-dimensional surface on a spherical planet, it could have curvature. Carl Friedrich Gauss's suspicions led to the idea of spatial curvature. He attempted to measure angles in large-scale triangles, hinting at deviations from Euclidean geometry. While Gauss's experiments were inconclusive, later experiments confirmed spatial curvature even affecting GPS systems. This curvature could hint at the universe's true shape and closeness, illuminating the concept of a closed universe with infinite dimensions. Understanding the universe's complexity often hinges on analogies to our known world, offering insights into its potential boundaries and shape. If we set off in any direction, sooner or later we end up back where we began. This happens because the Earth's surface lacks an edge, yet it isn't infinite. The universe might be similar, but on a three-dimensional scale. Think of the entire universe as twisted into a closed surface. It's mind-boggling to visualize, but let's rely on mathematics and broad concepts here. Scientists have speculated on 18 possible forms of the universe. 
Among these, there are orientable and non-orientable shapes. Understanding orientability on surfaces is crucial. Picture a Mobius strip, a captivating two-dimensional surface formed by twisting a paper strip and linking its ends. On this strip, if you select point A and draw a line perpendicular to it, tracing a small circle counterclockwise around the line yields an intriguing outcome. As you navigate the point along this strip and bring it back to its starting point, the direction of the line flips and the circle shifts to the opposite side of the strip. This defines paths that reverse orientation on non-orientable surfaces, unlike orientable ones such as a sphere or a torus. Consider a universe without orientability. Traversing an orientation reversing closed loop would return us home yet in a mirrored version of Earth. While we wouldn't physically change, everything else would. Heart positions, clock movements, and text appearances. Despite doubts among cosmologists about this scenario, observations haven't validated it. Non-orientable universes might emit energy from zones of matter and antimatter interaction, and this is an aspect yet to be detected. Now, concerning the universe's curvature, while local measurements suggest curvature near massive objects on a larger scale, it seems flat within our error margins. This hints at a potentially infinite expanse, leading to staggering conclusions. Theoretical physicist Max Tegmark explores mind-boggling figures. About 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 118 potential combinations of particles exist in the observable universe. In an infinite universe, traveling a distance of 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 118 times the observable universe's diameter in any direction would bring us back to an identical Earth with the same observable universe, a duplicate, where our actions mirror the present. This might sound preferable to a reversed universe, but the implications of an infinite universe are monumental. Although there's no physical law against it, living in an infinite universe could have profound philosophical implications. In fact, an infinite universe might not be the most desirable place to reside. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.